Planning out your next move in chess starts with evaluating the entire board and recognizing where your strengths and weaknesses exist. Making the first move can be just as critical as the last. Anticipating obstacles, building momentum on the big plays, and taking reflective time are all important. We can only move one piece at a time in chess, and so to address the issues facing Athens, Clark County, examining one area of community development to focus on helps set the pace. I believe that connections of poverty in our public school system is that area of development, or the first chess piece or pawn to take on. Athens is the most impoverished county in the nation for its population size, and as a result, I have watched as every public school has gained a Title I classification in my lifetime. I take this information into consideration the same way I evaluate my next chess move. I question why a community that has so many resources, over 100 nonprofits, and some of the best teachers in the state still struggles within our school systems and earns low marks. We watch as more families move to neighboring counties because of the schools and yet still use the resources and businesses of Athens. I think everything starts at home and I want to relate how building up family engagement in schools would lead directly to the betterment of Athens Clark County community over the next 20 years. So our pond's now out of the board and need support from oncoming attacks. I propose bringing in reinforcements to build up our family engagement. We look to these topical areas of technology, business, and marketing. Moving forward to support family engagement, we need better uses for existing technology. If we are aware that traditionally parents work eight to five jobs or that some don't have any means of transportation, conferences can become impossible to attend. Moving conferences and more regular communication to being able to be held through online ways is a good first step. Skype and Google provide free services that only require devices and internet connection. We can petition for services like Google, Google Fiber and could put Athens on the map while benefiting our local families. Since our schools have moved on to one-on-one -on -one technology, we can make that one device per family and increase engagement as families would take responsibility together. These school assigned family devices could come preloaded with information such as useful websites or tutorials for increasing teacher communication. Technology could be the initial move so that families can begin to feel more connected with their kids and during times that work most conductive for them. Athens is a town that looks one way and has problems that go unnoticed because of it. Attractive businesses exist in downtown, normal town, five points, and on UGA. These organizations could flourish more in the future the more that we build schools that attract residents, as well as sustain our existing community. I think that creating more direct partnerships with businesses and schools is a key big move. I think that a program would have, an org would have an organization partner or sponsor a public school that did more than just give money or job opportunities, but encourage the work staff to get involved directly when families see their kids getting supported at school plays, sporting events, or being mentored in the classroom. Not only will that feeling of engagement, engagement give them pride to participate, but also encourage families to frequent and support those organizations. They begin to benefit each other as well as grow a sense of community pride. The next move would be increasing the marketing of ACC schools. This is where we can turn our pawns into the queens, an example of a successful area being possibly changed to an improve, improved school that positively engaged families is Normaltown. Chase Street Elementary realized that most of the kids preferred performed poorly, lived primarily in one neighborhood. After the advertised illiteracy event in the neighborhood where the schools came to them, the engagement had tremendous impact on the whole community. This caused a spike in children's grades, and when ch people started seeing this spike and how the school was getting more well known for becoming a reputable school, more people started moving to Normaltown to enroll their children in Chase. This caused a quick surge of businesses and shops to move into the area as well as increased pop property values. Chase Street Elementary went from a pond to a queen by taking their initiatives back into the homes. If we can make steps to making all of our schools utilize advertising big events to others in and out of the county, then we could get a massive influx in new residents and businesses into our community. To be able to go through with a long-term plan, you need to think like a chess player. As a chess player, you should start off with a full strategy of moves that you're going to make and can counteract your opponent's moves. Any chess player must be able to adapt to any unforeseen plays made against you and in order to continue your plan. The first move of my plan is to take control of my pawn by instigating technology to improve relations between the school and families. The next step is to advance my pawn forward by creating local business connections to an education system. Then to upgrade the pawn into a stronger piece through marketing the schools and tying schools together with businesses. At the end, when all your challenges and problems are defeated, you get to take their queen, in this case, a better Athens. Thank you.